All right, guys, this is the new car. What is up, guys? It's Jess here. Thank you for tuning in again. I hope you're having a great day like I am. So to keep things rolling, uh, like I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to do my big brake kit on my car. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. Um, not necessarily going to make this a tutorial by any means. It's just going to be like me adding them onto the car, uh, giving them a review. Not a lot of people have done reviews on this brake kit for this car. Um, I'm sure they're popular with other cars, but no one has really done it for this car. So that's why I'm putting this video out there. But for those of you who haven't seen my big brake kit, um, this is my big brake kit. It's a four piston Brembo brake kit for the rear. Um, if you can see that little weak sauce there, that's I think that's a one piston. Uh, this is a four piston, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a big difference. Although the brakes in the rear don't really do anything. This is more so about, I just wanna look fresh. <laughs> so um, the car will have four piston Brembo's all around now. Although these are the stock ones. I'm pretty sure these are smaller too. Or the rotor is smaller. Something smaller about them. But I'm excited to have brambles all around. I already went ahead and put some towels down here in the engine bay. Because I don't want to potentially get any of that brake fluid on my paint. Because that shit is the worst. That's mainly the, the main reason I haven't done this mod. Uh, I've had these sitting in literally on my shelf for like six months. And... I'm finally going to do it. Um, I want the car to start getting built more and more, so you'll start seeing more and more videos about this car, but for, I'm, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and start getting things uh, going. Uh, I have stainless steel brake lines right here, the good Goodridge, and yeah, I'm likely going to be adding these onto those calipers beforehand so that I avoid getting, I mean, spilling any brake fluid because I hate brake fluid, like with a passion. All right, guys, I went ahead and took off the wheel. Um, so I'm going to point this out. Don't follow exactly what I am doing. This is by no means safe. Um, I don't have a jack stand underneath there. I actually don't have a jack stand available right now. So I just have it on the jack. I did put my IS300 wheel right there just in case if it was to fall. Uh, it would catch it just because. Just in case, you know, but. I have faith in my equipment, so I don't think it'll it'll like fall or anything. So I just put the ice 300 wheel underneath there. It was, if it was to fall, it would fuck shit up. So you can see that's how much confidence I have. But here uh, we have the stock caliper, and I'm gonna begin. St I'm gonna begin to taking it off. Um, this is the first time I've ever actually taken off the wheel on this car, so it's nice to see that it looks pretty nice down there. Uh, I have seen underneath that it does have like pretty bad uh, rust in some places. That's because uh, I think it came from n New Jersey or some shit, South Carolina, somewhere around there. And I know there's snow around there, so. All right, guys, haven't made an update in a minute, but I got this side buttoned up. Um, I just have to bleed them, but I'm going to wait until I do all the stainless steel brake lines before doing that. But the clearance is really, really close. Um, let's see if this focuses. If you can see, um, it's really close. But um, let me go on the other side and I can show you some things. So here's the stock uh, dust shield. So you have to cut this. I went ahead and cut it at this ridge on the other side. Um, didn't record that side because that was kind of like the learning, learning side but I went ahead and got the rotor off and the caliper is sitting up there. Um, I just wait till the very end to disconnect that so I, I minimize the amount of brake fluid that comes out. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting that up. So just to show how I cut the, the dust shield, this is how I left it. So I cut it at that groove all the way around and this is perfect so that it clears the new rotor. So to show the difference in rotor size, um, here, are, here they are next to each other. Um, there's quite a bit of difference between the two, um, but for right now, I'm gonna begin mocking up the whole assembly. The way I did it over there on that side was I mounted the rotor, then I mounted the caliper, and then at the very end, um, 
I, I disconnected that old caliper so that it didn't cause a mess down there and I went ahead and installed the brake line on the caliper beforehand so it was just right after I disconnected that one I could just simply reconnect the new one and it's easy from there but I'll give you guys a quick little update once I have the the actual brake setup uh, assembled just to show that the caliper and rotor is on here they are um, pretty straightforward job same as the other side the only thing you have to modify is the dust shield after that it's pretty straightforward all everything bolts right up as it should um, this is how the car should have came from factory but you know they want to cheap out and put a one piston caliper instead of a four piston back here but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and button up the wheel and begin putting the stainless steel brake light on that side and then I'll work my way over here and then I'm gonna go around again and just uh, actually bleed the system and after I do that the car should be good to go uh, this job would be a lot easier if you had like a lift but I don't so I have to do all like basically the job twice but it's alright I love working on this thing it's just this is like my pride and joy so yeah what is up guys so it's been a few days since I actually recorded the brake caliper install video so I was debating actually not posting that video for the simple reason that I made an amateur mistake. Um, I debated not posting it up because I want to look like a dumbass, but I'm not afraid to really show my mistakes. Uh, hopefully this actually even helps someone because I was just careless when I put uh, bolted up the calipers on it. I didn't really notice that I made a mistake. Or I, well, I did notice that there was a mistake, but I just I tried to just work my way around it so I didn't have to do more work than what I had to. So, um, the issue that I'm having is I have a spongy brake pedal and is, as you can see, um, the bleeder nipple is on the bottom side when it should be on the top up here. So the issue that I'm having is as I'm trying to bleed the brakes um, down here, all the dense air travels up the caliper and it, get, and it gets trapped up here. On, on the very top of the caliper so um, regardless of how many times I bled it I bled this thing like crazy um, I still have a spongy brake pedal so um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this side to the other side and the other side to this side and that should fix that issue after I do that uh, I'm gonna move forward to the front like I told you guys in the last clip I don't know if I'm gonna end up using that clip but um, the stainless steel brake lines in the front did not work I hit up ZZP and they actually told me that the first batch of brake lines uh, were actually bad because they used the wrong fitting in the front or for the for the union and it would cause a leak and that's exactly the issue that I had so they told me to send off those those brake lines and I will have some new ones very soon so as you guys can see the nipple is on the top for the OEM calipers and I should have just looked up here and I would have noticed that I made an issue back there I noticed that issue as soon as I started working on this side I did the other side first but once I was already on this side I didn't really want to have to do uh, the work again because I had already taken off the caliper I took everything off and I was bolting this up when I noticed that the nipple was at the bottom and I was like oh no so I didn't really want to necessarily unbolt that again go to the other side unbolt that and then have to bolt this one on that side and then that one on this side so i just left it as is and i was hoping it would work but it didn't so i'm having to do the job twice but that's okay i love working on this thing and i have some new goodies coming for this thing so while i'm down there i can do some other things um but for right now guys i just want to let you guys know that i made i made a mistake and i'm a dumbass but you're living and learn so oh well Alright guys, this is a new car, uh, it's a 2016 Ford Fiesta ST, um, look forward to a lot of videos with this thing, I might be taken to the track because this thing actually handles for a front wheel drive, I've never owned a front wheel drive that like handles this well, so just wanted to give you guys a quick little view of the car that I bought, um, for the OG subscribers, if you guys uh, knew before, there was absolutely no space in here, like absolutely none. My car barely fit that one right there. That one barely fit before. And I actually cleaned up the garage just to put this baby in here. So, uh, I kind of own the garage now. <laughs> That's what my dad says. But, 
But yeah, guys, I just wanted to tell you guys a mistake that I made. Um, look forward to another video when I correct that issue and I finish installing the brake lines in the front. But for right now, I'm going to go have some coffee and just have a good day, guys. Uh, see, you see you guys next time.